All right, so after somebody joins, we actually really want to show them, give them a message saying like, hey, you have successfully joined, thank you. Something like that. So we are gonna do that now using the Django messages framework. So we wanna check a few things in our settings file and yours should be installed by default. So in installed apps, we see this messages right here. And then we also see in the middleware, we have this right here. I'll kind of explain middleware later, but we just wanna make sure for now that the installed apps is working. So let's just go ahead and copy this and go into our views here where we actually submit the form. We want to import messages. So just kind of doing a little shortcut. So from django.contrib import messages. So for messages to work, going back into the docs, we can scroll down here and look at an example of it. So a message call, see we just imported it. So these are all the different types of messages that will come through. We are gonna put this success one right after it saves. So, and we're gonna change the message to thank you for joining. Cool, so now that we have that, we need to actually render the message within our HTML. So let's go down where it says display messages. We can just copy this and we'll go into base. We're gonna make a new row above the column row. We're gonna go div class equals to row. Make sure that equals is right next to class. And then we'll do div class column extra small 12. So we want it to go all the way across. And let's paste this. Okay, so what's happening here is if there's a message, it's gonna show it into a list. We actually don't want it into a list. And we also don't wanna show this row unless there's messages. So let's put that if clause up here above the row and then after the div tag for it because we want everything here inside of that if. And then we don't want to have this as a list element. We just want it to be a paragraph element for now. So paragraph tag there. And this one, we need to close off the paragraph tag because in HTML, whatever we open, we must close. And if you notice, there's all this other stuff and then that actually closes it. So if we remove this, we will see that that's the paragraph tag there. And if message has tags, then show those tags and then show the message. Um, and then let's get rid of the UL on both the top and bottom. Save that. Let's go back into MVP landing, do a refresh. Um, we don't see anything. So let's actually add an email here and I'm gonna add my personal email, hit submit. Ah, look it, it says, thank you for joining. And if we press enter again, it's gonna go away. It's pretty cool. So uh, one more time, I'll put my email in, hit submit, thank you for joining. If we do an inspect element here, uh, we will see this success class. Ah, that's pretty cool. So we can actually style that success class. So going open up our custom.css and we do success. Let's just say background equals to gray. And then do a refresh. Ah, look at that. We have our background being gray. Um, and then we can do text align center. And you'll have to resubmit everything to see it. Hit submit and there we go. So we could do that. Um, I'm actually going to change it, get rid of this and go back into our base file here. And I wanna change this into small and then it's gonna be, let's make it six wide and then column small offset three. So this is gonna offset three on the left and on the right. So it's gonna put it right in the middle for us. Um, and then we wanna go back into Bootstrap, go into components, and then we're gonna scroll down to alerts. 
and we will grab this class here. So if message.tags equals to success, then we'll put this class oops, of alert.success. Okay. And do a refresh. There we go. Now we have this successful joining and it's in a little bit nicer of a format and it's right in the middle. Of course, we could have that go all the way across like we did before, change it to 12, do a refresh. There you go. So now it says, thank you for joining all the way across and it's in its own row. So it's kind of separating everything um, nice and clean for us. I'm gonna turn it back into doing um, the offset there and make sure that we have that. There's a, another way to do this, but for now, we're just gonna leave it as that. It's right in the middle. Thank you for joining. Of course, you can also have this anywhere you like. You can move that if message clause, just change it if you wanna put it, uh, let's say above the jumbotron and you wanna put it there. Let's do a refresh. It's gonna put it right there. Uh, it doesn't look that great, but it does work. So let's, I'm gonna just, Control Z everything and put it back to where I had it. Um, so we we'll save that. Do another refresh. Cool. Thank you for joining. So now the messages work, and that we can use anywhere. And the nice thing about messages is they don't have to be on the same view. Um, it we can set it in one view, but it could be you could you would be able to see it anywhere, and we'll show you that in the next one.